Hello. Something that you probably don't know about me is that I spend more time in my pyjamas than I do in regular clothes. S sorry? What was that? You, you did know that. How did you know that? What gave it away? Here I am at my dresser. Uh, my dresser <laughs> that I used to use a lot. Uh, but lately I haven't been using it so much because actually I can't open the drawers. They're so stuffed, full of stuff. I can't pull them open and uh, I've kind of forgotten what's in here because I got to this point where I just avoided opening these drawers and I just started living out of my washing pile. You know, I'd have my pajamas and then I'd wash them and then I'd put them back on again. And they never made it into the drawer. They were just on the pile over there and I just, that the my wardrobe became the floor. Anyway, I don't really remember what's in here. And the fact that I haven't opened these drawers in such a long time means that the stuff that's in here can't mean that much to me because if it did mean anything to me, I'd be using it. Just so you know, this is just my pajamas. This isn't like my, my actual clothing or anything. I'm, I'm just clearing out my pajamas and loungewear. So I'm just gonna go one by one and we're gonna do like a uh, keep and donate and well, yeah, I guess that's all it really needs to be, right? Just keep and donate. The funny thing is that a lot of these pajamas have a story which is a weird thing to say about pajamas but it's basically been like a tradition of my husband and mine by the way it's our two-year wedding anniversary today it's been a tradition that for my birthday my husband gives me peter alexander pajamas peter alexander i believe is an australian luxury not luxury but like nice fancy pajama brand and uh, they do collabs with pop culture things and like they've done harry potter and pokemon and everything and actually way back when on my channel this this, it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> so anyway, Dan got me this. It's a Peter Alexander dress thing, which actually I kind of want to put on now because I'm wearing like a, a silk uh, dressing dress, dressing dress, sleeping dress. And I feel a little bit exposed. I can't get rid of this. Do you want to know why? It's sentimental. My husband gave it to me. It's got a bird on it. The bird is wearing glasses. It has pockets. This stays. This is really cute. Christmas last year. Uh, one of my friends put together a bunch of cute t-shirts for all of us to wear at our Christmas lunch. And uh, this is an A... what do they call him? ATT... A... what's the... the big stomping robot? Yeah, it's called a... ATT... Anyway, he's a Star Wars ATT reindeer. He stays. Anything that my friends have given me, I... I can't get rid of things from my friends. Actually, that's the extra large. That's Daniel's. Why is it in my drawer? Oh, because everything that is Daniel's belongs to me. I wear all of his clothes. That's why. Okay, next. Oh, I got this in Hawaii from Walmart. This is the Bob Ross, uh, ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. It's more so like, ever make mistakes in life? Yeah, yeah, I make lots of them. Uh, anyway, here's some birds. What's this one? Oh, Sam gave me this. This was a Christmas present from Sam last year. He had these screen printed for a bunch of us. It says wine, noun, the glue that held the 2020 shit show together. Sam, it was the foundation of the castle that I have built in 2021. That's, that's the, I don't know, what am I even saying? Yeah, wine is the cement under the palace of my crippling crumbling mental health. Anyway, yeah, I finished a whole bottle of red wine last night while I was editing, but I feel fine this morning, so it must have been um, antioxidant free. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I also think I can get rid of that. Oh, I forgot that this sheet mask comes in two parts. This, uh, Survivor Australia, there was a guy called Luke and he got eliminated and everyone felt really upset that he got eliminated. I think, I don't even remember the circumstances of how he got eliminated. I just remember everyone was really mad. Really nice guy that just wanted to win for his family and anyway, so when he got eliminated, people started to go fund me and then he wanted to start like a merch company to raise more money. It was a while ago, I don't really remember. Anyway, creeping was his thing. Uh, and I bought one for me and one for Dan. But I feel like this one can get donated. This, this can go. I don't even remember. I think my mum got me this. I don't know where she would have got it. It says Harvard. I, I don't know what it is about making like university merch. <laughs> I don't even know. Is Harvard in England or America? I feel like I should know that. Harvard. Univ Harvard is... Harvard? Oh, I go to Harvard University. No. Yeah, I, 
I go to Har Harvard. I go to Harvard University. Harvard. Harvard. No, it sounds English. Yeah, no. Anyway, I don't need this. What have we got here? Oh, I want to keep this. I got this from AliExpress. It's um, like an adorable Nutella jar, but it got a stain on it. I think it's soy sauce and I've never been able to get the stain out. I used to wear this out in public. Then when it got the stain, I was like, oh, well, it's pajamas now. See, Bob Ross said like, ever make mistakes? They're birds. They're birds now. I'm like, ever make mistakes? They're pajamas now. I want to keep this because it's really soft just unbearably soft. I don't think there's even a tag in here saying what it's made of. Nope, because it's straight from AliExpress and AliExpress doesn't care to share. I will put this in the maybe pile because I haven't worn it in ages, but every time I pick it up, I'm like, oh, it's so soft. I love it. This is from a pretty little thing haul that I did eons ago. Uh, I haven't worn it very much since then, mostly because it's got awkward sleeves. They're like muscle sleeves or whatever you call them. Like they're very short and I don't like really showing my arms. Even if I'm just climbing into bed, I just don't like looking at my arms that much in the mirror. That can go because it's hardly ever been worn. This one, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad. This was another one from a friend for Christmas. She got us uh, dog ones and cat ones. And because this is a sentimental gift from a friend, I must keep it. What, what are these piles I've got going on here? Hang on, I've confused myself. Was this a keep pile? What have I done? No, 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 no. Is this the keep pile? Yes. So then what's this pile? Oh, is this the maybe pile? Yes. Okay. Right. I was so confused. <laughs> Donate, maybe, keep. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is another Peter Alexander one. I don't remember what year it was, but it's another gift from my husband. I think this was the first year we were dating. This may have been the th second or third. Also, sometimes his mum gives me Peter Alexander as well, so I get them confused, but this, another one that I don't wear very often because of the sleeve situation. Again, don't really like the not sleeves, but it's really long. I don't really like night dresses that are short because I like to be able to put it on and walk around my house. And if my parents are here or if my friends are around, I don't want to be flashing. You know, sometimes when you have little night dresses, they're really, really little. Uh, this one's a really good length. So I don't mind compromising on the, um, on the sleeve thing because of the length of it. We've got, oh, gee, this is a throwback. Wow, actually, this reminds me. I've bought a lot of things from Wish over the years and sometimes when people criticize my spending on Wish, they say things like, oh, she's wasting money because she's buying rubbish and it's gonna go to landfill. I don't know about you, I don't throw things away. Do people just like toss things in the bin? Like, do, really? When people are like, oh, it's gonna go to landfill, are you throwing clothes in the bin? I mean, I keep them as long as I am going to use them. And if I'm 100% sure I'm not gonna use it, I offer it around to my friends. And if my friends don't want it, I donate it. Uh, and okay, are you getting the landfill thing from like a thrift stores throwing clothes in the bin? Is that, do they do that in America? Cause I have a few friends that volunteer at like charity stores here and they're like, no, we don't throw things away. <laughs> we just keep it. And then they, if they can't sell it, they like send it back to the headquarters and they redistribute it to another area. Anyway, thing is, the whole point of this is, this is from Wish and I have kept it for many, many years. And I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll make a video, like an update of all the things that I've got from Wish over the years. And I can show people like, this is how it lasted. Cause a lot of people think, oh yeah, Wish it's rubbish. The stuff is gonna fall apart and end up in landfill. I don't think I've thrown anything out from Wish. I've donated and given away a few things here and there that sort of serve their purpose and someone else actually wanted them. Uh, but yeah, things like this, like I kept this for years and years and years and wore it to bed and everything. And it's been washed many times. The, the thing didn't peel off. So I want to do like an update video. That's like the Wish stuff that I bought two years later or four years later or whatever it is, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, this, I'm actually gonna have to put this in that box because I've been finding all the stuff from all around my house and I've been gathering it all together so I can show you guys what's worn well and what has not worn so well. Anyway, this, uh, when I hosted the charity event in January last year, God, 
doesn't feel like that long ago, but also it feels like an eternity since that day. Uh, my friend's dad does screen printing and he screen printed a whole bunch of these Pretty Pastel Please t-shirts so that the volunteers could wear them. Um, this one hasn't been worn. I don't know why it's ended up in my pajamas drawer, uh, but that's a medium. And I've got a box of these. I think I've got about 10 or 20 of them that I'm going to keep for the next charity event, whenever that might be, whenever we can open up and have events again. What's this? Ah, okay. Uh, my mum. Uh, look, look at soy sauce. Huh. Soy sauce stains haunt me everywhere I go. Anyway, my mum sometimes turns up at my house with baskets of clothes and she's like, these are yours. And I'm like, no, they're not. And she's like, yeah, they are. I found them in your, your room. And I'm like, they must be your other child's. I'm an only child. I'm like, I don't know where you got that, mum. It must be yours. And she's like, it's not mine. And I'm like, ah, it's not mine. I have a feeling my mum probably got it from a secondhand store. Mum loves thrifting and I reckon that she thrifted it at some point years back for me and forgot about it. It says St. St. Petersburg? Anyway, this is going. I need to try to get the stains out and probably need to try a bit harder, like get some of that Omo stuff and try to get them out because if I'm donating it, I don't want it to have stains on it. Oh, this, this is from Boohoo from years ago. Oh, this is my first Boohoo haul, I think. I love this. Oh my God, I just, I love it. It was cheap, didn't fall apart after being washed 10 billion times. It's got another stain on it. See, think, I know I probably look like a very grotty person, but all of these things are clean. Like they smell like fresh daisies, but the, the marks that I accumulate, like because I do quite literally live in my pajamas, I do everything in them. I do gardening, I do house renovating, I do painting, I do like everything in them and they, they get dirty. <laughs> And then the stains don't come out. But uh, yeah, before this one was stained, I used to wear it out in public, got the stains on it. Now it's a pajama top and I love it. It's so comfortable. The only thing I don't like about it is it's like off one shoulder, which sometimes gets cold, <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, I think it's called cold shoulder for a reason. Uh, this one, sorry, I'm late. I didn't want to come. I have worn this on many occasions. Unironically, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, not sorry. This is not that comfortable. It's really not very stretchy at all. It's kind of like a, a thick fabric too. It's, it's a little bit heavy. I don't remember what I said about this in the, I think that this, yeah, this is misguided. I don't remember how I reviewed it when I first got this, but these days I don't like it. Any time that I've had to wear this to bed because my other things have been dirty, I've been like, oh, I don't like this one. So this one can go still in good condition and everything. So someone will like that. This is from this video where I dyed my hair and everything. I got this and everyone was like, Alex, that's a maternity nightgown. Really? I don't think so. I, okay, may, maybe, but it's from Peter Alexander and I've never seen Peter Alexander selling maternity stuff. Anyway, I really like this. One of my favorite thrift finds because it's so practical and it's so comfortable too. The no sleeves thing, I'm funny when it comes to that. Some things I'm like, I'll make the exception for this. I, I don't understand my logic. Like uh, this thing I'm wearing under here has no sleeves and I was happy to wear this today. But other things I'm like, no, don't look at my arms. Makes no sense. This was, was this, yeah, pretty little thing. This is a uh, My Little Pony t-shirt. I used to wear this a lot. These days I don't wear graphic tees. If I do, they say Metallica or something. Um, but yeah, I very, I very rarely wear these sort of things in public, hence why it's ended up in my pajamas drawer. And this, can you hear that? So of all the years that I've been washing this, it hasn't cracked or, or faded or broken away or anything, but it is very stiff. No matter how much I wash this, it's really hard and it's not comfy. And like when your arms rub against it, it's, it's like sandpaper. So I think that this one's gonna have to go. It really is because I've, it's sat in my pajamas drawer and I don't think I've ever worn it to bed because it's so uncomfortable. Oh, this, this is cool. This probably shouldn't be in my pajamas drawer, but it's in there because it's quite little and I feel self-conscious wearing it out in public. There was an art exhibit uh, at our art gallery in Sydney. It was Kentaro Yoshida. Kentaro Yoshida. This t-shirt was a souvenir from the art gallery of New South Wales. There was a Japanese artist on display. It was absolutely amazing. These are all the Japanese mythological creatures that some of these have been represented in Ghibli films like in Spirited Away and Totoro and things like that. It's fascinating. You look him up, um, Kentaro Yoshida. Look him up. The artwork is so cool. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is in the pajama drawer 
because it's short and I don't really like to wear it out in public, but it's really cool. Mm. It can stay in the pyjama drawer for now because I, I don't see myself wearing it out. What about here? Oh, another Peter Alexander. This is from the early days. I don't remember if it was Dan or his mum that gave me this one. This one's a, that little bunny from Disney. I, I, Snow White? I don't remember actually, it doesn't, doesn't say. This is going in the maybe pile, purely because I've got so many sleep t-shirts that I don't know if I need it. This is Pretty Little Thing again. It says Princess. It's another one of these extremely soft, long, stretchy t-shirts that I love wearing to sleep. Misguided here? Oh, did someone say brunch? Yeah, I've never worn this one out in public. Uh, I've only ever worn it to sleep. You can see my preference, right? See how for sleeping, this one, see it's long, like that. And uh, the, the t-shirts that are kind of shorter, I just, I'm not so inclined to wear them to bed. This is from Thriftmas. This is a big Ed Hardy t-shirt that I have worn many times to bed around the house. I don't know if I want to keep this because this isn't the sort of thing that I would wear out and about. This is you know, the right length and the right size to wear to bed or around the house for chores. But it's really heavy fabric. Does it say what it is? It says 100% cotton. That's supposed to be a good thing, but I find it very hot. It's not really breathable. So I don't know if I want to keep that because almost every time I've worn it, I've been like, oh, I'm sweaty, Ugh, so sweaty. So not sure. Oh, this, oh, I love this, I love it so much. Did you guys see my Walmart? Was it I wore clothes from Walmart for a week in a Hawaii video? I got this. This is a Moo Moo. I got it from Walmart. Still one of my favorite things ever. It's so comfortable. Okay, yeah, I love it. This, another Walmart find. I'm, I'm going to donate this. This, uh, I wore it a lot that year and maybe even the next year after I went to Hawaii. But these days, I, again, like I said, out in public, I don't really wear slogan things. And this is not quite right for me to wear to bed. It's a little bit too short. It is comfy, but there's something about the colors I find quite distressing. Or when I want to go to bed and go to sleep, I want to like unwind and calm down. There's something about like red, blue, green, and yellow that kind of makes me be like, mm, I'm not really calming. Does that, uh, you can probably see all of these. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Oh my God. Everything is pink, blue, and white. Wow. <laughs> anyway, does not, does not help me go to sleep. So this one can get donated. This, I believe, is another one of these university ones that my mom gave me. University of Michigan, Champions of the West. I know Michigan's in America. I know, I wasn't certain about Harvard, but Michigan, that one can go. I lived in this after my nose job. <laughs> Bad memories. Um, this one, this was from Pretty Little Thing, I think. This is a licensed Friends t-shirt. I have a confession to make. I've never watched Friends. I like this and I wore this all over Japan. I just like basic grey t-shirts. The video of mine, I only ate food from 7-Eleven in Japan for a week. That's got like 3 million views and it's my most popular video. <laughs> this is what I was wearing when I started, you know, day one or whatever it was. I wore this everywhere in Japan and uh, I feel like a traitor every time I wear it because I haven't watched Friends. I'm going to get on to that. Oh! The drawer's empty. I can't believe it, the drawer's empty. Moving on. I don't remember what's, oh dear. Okay, well, Peter Alexander again. Peter Alexander Star Wars collection. This is one that Dan gave me. Again, it's got the sleeves that I don't like, like the muscle t-shirt sleeves, but I love Star Wars. And it's a maybe because it's Peter Alexander, very good quality, so nice to sleep in. The fabric's really lovely and breathable, um, but I don't, like the cut of it so much. This, oh my god, D look how old this is. This, this has uh, two things going against it. This is Wild Fox, old Wild Fox from like 2010, and it was originally made to be distressed. Like it, it came with holes in it and everything, and it was also like a kind of faded white when I bought it. I got this second hand off eBay because I really loved Wild Fox Couture and I couldn't afford anything because a t-shirt like this would have been like $200 new, I think, from memory. So I got it on eBay for $30. It was already worn, distressed and everything. And then I wore it many, many years to bed. And now it's just kind of, yeah, it's sort of gone a funny color. And no matter how much you wash it, you can't get the stains to come out. And this is not in good enough condition to donate. I don't know what to do with this one. If I could figure out how to get the stains out, like see how yellow it is? And like, it's got, once again, a soy sauce stain or a chili sauce stain. Or so. I, I eat food in my pajamas sometimes when we're 
watching movies on the couch and sometimes they get stains that just don't come out. You need to figure out how to sort that. This, we got this in the Hawaii and they were so cheap. I don't really, they were like a dollar or something each. I love this and it makes me think of Tiache every time I see it. That can stay. Oh, oh, from my Meshki video. This is the Meshki, uh, not silk, but like satiny kind of pajamas. I love these. I lo really, what I should kind of be focusing on, I should probably try to just narrow it down to like nice two piece pajama sets that I'm going to get heaps and heaps of wear out of, but I don't own very many of them yet. Thermals. Thermals shouldn't really be in my pajama collection. These are from Japan. You can go to like, dollar stores in Japan or a convenience stores and get thermals in the winter and they're so cheap like the equivalent of three or four dollars and they are super 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 warm they stay there's a, a few you know why these are in here because I sleep in thermals in winter that's why they're in my pajama drawers this has a tag on it why oh this there we go this is thermals from Japan see it says stretch warm inner and then everything else is in Japanese. I got a few of these while I was in Japan because I was severely underprepared for how cold it was last time I was there. This is nice. This is, my mum got me this. I don't know where she got it from. It says pure hype. It's just a hot pink long sleeve shirt, but it's really nice to wear underneath things when I'm cold. It's not quite thermals. It's not thermal material, but I've worn this to bed on many occasions. Look at this. This is the waist trainer from Wish. <laughs> And uh, more thermals. Do you? More thermals. These, I think, are thermals from Aldi. Aldi did this special a couple of months ago. We all went camping and Dan went and bought some thermals for me. Little did he know that I bought a bunch of thermals from Wish to take camping. This is very soft, really nice. Aldi, Aldi is so severely underrated. They sell some really good things. This is the top that belongs with the Meshki pajamas that I love and I feel very rich and opulent when I wear these. This definitely stays. Something white, white thermals. Now see, I don't wanna keep this. White clothing. White clothing and the, the way that I live, do not agree. This is a top from a lovely Meshki two-piece set. The pants are in the wash over there because I could be wearing them almost every day this week. Okay, that's another drawer down. Oh God, pants now. <laughs> These are the Pikachu shorts from that OG video of mine. They can stay. Actually, I feel like I should probably put some of these things away to make my tops that I'm keeping. Ugh. They almost fill up that entire drawer. That tells me that I've kept more than enough. These, these are from, oh these, these are the best. <laughs> these are critical role merch. Oh my God, if you're a critter and you've never bought their merch and you've been thinking you really want to, but it might be a little bit expensive and you don't know if you want to or not, just do it. Their merch is like the best in the game, I swear to God. This, this is the Critical Role pajama pants. They are quite literally the most comfortable pajama pants I've worn in my entire life. Dan got them for me. The top and the pants from this set, the best pajamas I've ever owned. Uh, in fact, they're so good that any of these others that I've owned in the past, these can all go. I don't remember, I think my mum got me these, I don't remember where they came from. Not as comfy as those. Dan got me these for our anniversary or my birthday or something a few years ago. Pastel Stormtrooper pajamas from Peter Alexander. I love them so much. The Critical Role pajamas are on par with the Peter Alexander pajamas. These are the Pikachu ones from years ago. Again, very, very comfy. They stay for sure. Oh, this one is, that was hard to open. Okay, these can go away. Right, who remembers Hello Kitty ASOS years ago? This was in my regular clothing rotation. I used to wear it out and about in public. Cycled into my loungewear rotation. I love these. I, do, I will always love this. I remember this was expensive. I remember that was back when I was new at haul videos. I never really had ever spent money on clothes. And I just remember however much that set was, it was astronomically expensive. And I remember struggling to justify keeping it, but I've got so much wear out of it and I always will. So I'm keeping that. This is my Barbie misguided thing. I wore this all over Japan the year that Dan and I went and got engaged there. I like this for sentimental reasons and I don't wear it that often because it's cropped. It's really short, like super, super short. It's really dark now. The sun went away and I didn't realize, you know, my face mask is all dried up now. Hello. I don't have that many two-piece tracksuit kind of thing, so I will keep it. These from Boohoo! This was the most popular item 
from that Boohoo video. I put tra uh, traceable links on that video. They weren't affiliate links or anything, but I just was really interested to see what people were buying. And ev <laughs> it had like tens of thousands of clicks. So many people bought this. I love it. I'll never get rid of it. I just, I love it so much. It's so comfortable. Oh, okay, the bottom drawer, I can't, I can't. Ugh. Oh, the bottom drawer is full of swimsuits. Hmm. Put that in the back. I'm not ready to look at swimsuits right now. Oh, this is like my workout clothing. I don't work out. <laughs> the TikTok leggings. I bought the TikTok leggings because I was going to do a video. Because I really thought my butt would look a million dollars. Like all of the TikTok videos, people put them on and they're like, oh, and their butts look amazing. Mine looked look like a blue pancake. I didn't post that video. I was like, it did nothing for me. I really thought a bit of fabric would give me a Kim K booty, but it did not. But I still like them. I got them in three colors. I got them in gray and black and blue. Uh, wow. That's it. I know there's more over on that pile over there that just didn't make it in here because this drawer was full. But that's all I have the energy for to film right now. I'm getting warm. It's getting very, very warm. Oh, okay. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that. Sorry, that was... I, like, I, I just, I went to clear out the drawer and I was like, I should film this. I feel like people might enjoy, maybe. Uh, I know that I've been filming for at least 30 minutes, so I hope that that was 30 minutes of somewhat entertaining content about pyjamas. <laughs> so with that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!